The Vitastin 2 project is about grapevine breeding, and grapevine breeding is about numbers. You really need to be able to process a lot of planting material from breeders in order to find uh, the underpinnings of resistance. Discovering sources of resistance to diseases and pests is important because we cannot depend upon the use of chemicals to suppress these pests and diseases forever. So high-speed phenotyping is really a necessary component of driving the system of discovering new genes for resistance and getting them into new cultivars. A 50 megapixel camera can actually resolve uh, a sample that we use in phenotyping uh, to the level where we can take one picture of it and with that camera see everything that a powdery mildew pathogen is doing on the surface of that leaf. We can quantify it, we can measure it, and eventually we'll figure out what the genes are that are underneath that are driving that system. That's what phenotyping is all about. Just two years ago, uh, we were phenotyping by seeding a technician at a microscope, and that technician could look at about 30 samples a day. Today, the Blackbird system, which is what we call the new phenotyping system, uh, can process about 3,000 samples for each robot and we have five of those robots in operation. So we can process about 15,000 samples a day, now compared to 30 just a few years ago. Everything that we do is in the context of growing grapes to make a profit and to be economically feasible in the long run.